Welcome to What You Watching, What You Watching, watchin', What You Watching, What You Watch On. That was loud. <laughs> that last one was really loud. Welcome to another episode of What You Watching. Yeah, and what do we do when we're What You Watching? We're talking about what we're watching. Right. The great thing about What You Watching is you are giving us suggestions on what to watch. And so, you know what? What are we doing? You know what? We are so excited because we have had a lot of feedback about yep. what you're watching, even though we don't really talk about what we're watching. <laughs> we do, sort of. We're not gonna talk about the morning show. <laughs> Did you get it? We will. <laughs> like we said before, either Zeus and I are full go, yep. just like work, travel, super athletic. We're like- Super athletic? Exercise <laughs> four to five times a day. <laughs> Which one of us is super athletic? <laughs> <laughs> we're not exercising. We're watching a lot of TV. Yeah, yeah. No, we really, we either watch a lot of TV or we aren't home. Yeah. Which is basically it. So we bought pajamas. Yeah. And then we had our logo put on our pajamas. These will be available in the Empty Nesters Unite store yes. soon. Yes. So then we thought, is anybody watching what you're watching? Well, yeah, they are. And we've gotten a lot of comments on what to watch. So I'm very excited because we had one that we didn't know anything about, a little right. bit intriguing. And Shannon D. Waddell told us to watch The Thing About Pam. So thank you, Shannon. Yes. You'll be getting a Empty Nesters Unite promotional box that we'll be sending to you. So you need yes. to reach out to us so we can make sure yes, and get that to you. DM us and we will send you a box. Yep. It's right. a value of $450,000. It's cute. So. Not it's really. Only for empty nesters. Yeah. Anyway, so we looked up the thing about Pam, and it stars Renee Zellweger. It's actually based on a podcast and a real life story. And then Dateline picked it up, and mm -hmm. Dateline's done two episodes on it. It was intriguing. It was weird and interesting. And there's nothing like Dateline and Keith Morrison. Then she went over and stabbed her with a knife 57 times, or did she? Should you tell the, the story about how you stalked? Keith Morrison? I did. <laughs> I forgot about that. There isn't a person on this planet that Zeus will not talk to. I will talk to everybody. That's just my nature. So Keith Morrison lives in Orange County and I happened to see him one day driving his convertible with his ginormous dog who unfortunately has passed away, we found out. And Zeus stalked his Facebook to find out that the dog, Keith didn't call Zeus and say, I'm so sad my dog passed away. Yes. Zeus, Zeus. stalked him. This is Keith. My dog passed away. Or did she? Anyway, so I ended up following him because I had a client who really loved Keith Morrison. And so it was a situation where I thought, you know what? Maybe I can chase Keith Morrison down. I think I drove for about 20 plus minutes, chased him down. He was picking up his dog from the groomer. Were you in your big giant truck? I was in my big <laughs> truck. Anyway, chased him down, walked into the, the pet store and said, okay, I swear I'm not crazy. I'm not a stalker. I'm not some wacko. I own an ad agency. I have a client who loves you, even uses your voice on Waze. The Waze. The Waze. So I ended up uh, getting him to shoot a little video, uh, which I still have, and sent it to her. And she loved it. It was one of those things where you, you know, you gotta listen. Gotta listen to what people are saying. And when they tell you something, you gotta stick that in the back of your mind. And when you can, do something like that for a client or a friend, family member, or a stranger, as Stephanie always does. I would say he was such a good sport, Yeah. but he was a little creeped out. Yeah. You could tell by the way he was reluctantly, I think he said to Zeus, well, you must really like your clients. I don't know if we can show the video it on. Sure. Anything. You have a good friend, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for watching our show. Uh, good luck with everything you do. Just keep going. So what are we talking about? We're the talking about, about the thing about Pam. And Keith Morrison is the narrator. Because he's on Dateline. So obviously yeah. Dateline is, you know. And Pam is this liter psychopath lady. Scary. And she's Scary. killing all these, we can't give too much away, but she's killing all these people for their life insurance. It's super, super weird, but she's, Renee Zellweger, I didn't recognize her because they did prosthetics for her and how much? They, they, four hours in the chair. Every day, four hours in the chair and they bulked her up a couple hundred pounds, probably. We're gonna show a picture of her now in right. a picture in the uh, thing about Pam. You won't recognize her. I mean, doesn't. Well, here's the great thing about this show. 
Other than like one or two people, the casting is crazy good. Yeah, you know what? You're right. They look exactly like Because we, we always do this. We're all about the research. It's research, 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 research. And you can tell because of how deep and in-depth we are in all of these. Uh, <laughs> anyway, but, but what we did do is we actually went on the Google machine and we pulled up the actual people that were portrayed by these characters in, in the uh, show. And oh my God, the casting was unbelievable. They looked almost identical. With it the exception scary. of the next door the neighbor. The next door neighbor, yep. You know, I was thinking what a great neighbor you've been. If I were the real next door neighbor, I'd be super bummed that that's how they portrayed me. Anyway. So what else can we say about the show? I really appreciate that Shannon told us about this show because I never would have yep. known about it. Comment, comment, comment. Tell us what you're watching so we can make sure that we're watching and then we'll all share in what you're watching. Well, funny thing is, after we finished this one, I said, this is a great idea. These people are sharing what to watch, which is the whole purpose of the show. So we tried to watch this one show and Hulu crashed. What? Well, no, it was HBO Max. HBO it crashed Max. on our TV. Yeah. And we couldn't figure it out. <laughs> And so we got uh, jogging shoes on and we ran down to the nearest Blockbuster <laughs> and we got the VHS tape. Yeah, right. No, but we're still trying to figure out our HBO. No, we, I it, think we got to figure it out. Yeah, so we have that. Yeah. We are getting the greatest comments and they are making us so happy because we started this project just to get people like, to smile. Just to get people to smile and have a good time. And, and we are getting so many great comments and we're getting things like, you know, are you taking applications? to oh, be right, friends. And right. I was like, that is such a great, that just makes us so happy because sometimes we're like, well, one of us is like, why are we doing this? Yeah. And the comments, it gets oh. us excited and, and regenerated, so. And we have fun and we appreciate it. Please subscribe. Every morning, truly, we get up, we get a cup of coffee, we go downstairs and we bust out our laptops and we read comments. I have a show I wanna re um, review, but it's mainly women oriented and it's a couple years old, so I think it might be too old, but. Um, Nothing's too old. You, you realize 95% of your audience are women. <laughs> women unite. <laughs> Empty nester women unite. Right? So you need to have your significant other, brother, friend, spouse, whoever, start being a part of this too so we can have some fun on this as well. We don't mean to sound desperate. <laughs> We're going to go on a hunger strike. We're going to go on a hunger strike <laughs> if we don't get more followers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. We didn't tell you that much about the thing about Pam. Because even though we'll we, give it away. It's very entertaining. So thank you, Shannon. So we are going to have uh, something coming up here on the next week. And what are we going to be uh, reviewing? F1. F1. On F1. Netflix. Yep. Super good. Yep. Stay tuned. Formula One racing. Anyway, thanks everyone. Have a great week. We don't have any red vines because Slater <laughs> ate them all. <laughs> I have some red. I think we should have some wine. Here. Oh. Here's some. Have oh. some wine. You ate a lot more. <laughs> no, that was me. He only oh. <laughs> Here's your wine. Thank you, honey. Cheers. Right. Cheers. 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 Cheers.